Hello there. After the anomaly in the previous video, well, Lassie didn't really want to land on the return to home because it said that the landing area was unsuitable. I thought I'd better come out and test again at a few different landing locations with different surfaces just to see if there is a problem with the software or maybe the landing sensors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the landing sensors before Lassie takes off and then I'm going to send her up only 20 metres away, well 25 metres away so that when I hit return to home it does actually operate. I won't send her up very far, I won't send her out very far and then I'll hit return to home and come back and see if she'll land on a variety of different landing areas and the first one I'm going to test is the one that she refused to land on which is right here. Here we go. So she's only going to be up 10 metres and I'm only going to send her out to 25 metres. And we'll see, I'm going to hit the return to home now. And let's see if she will actually land or if we get that signal again saying that unsuitable landing area. So there we go, for some reason she landed this time no problem on exactly the same spot where she went not land the other day. So let's move away now and we'll try a couple of other different locations and see if she lands quite as easily. Right, so here's a grass area. And we'll try it just here. Ok, and at 24 metres away, let's hit the return to home. Right, she landed in the grass quite happily as it seems. Let's try her on some wood chips. Now, I'm not expecting her to get a suitable landing site on these wood, chi wood chips, but let's give it a bash and see. Okay, she's 20, just over 20 metres away, turn to home.
and just as expected, the area under the aircraft is unsuitable for landing. All right, so let's try somewhere else. Okay, here's an area of gravel. Okay, 25 metres away, let's hit the return to home. So we go perfectly happy to land on the gravel. So I've got another test here, and this is a metal table. So let's get Lassie onto the metal table. And taste this. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Now surprisingly there, I did have the message that it was unsuitable to land and that's because I think she's positioned halfway over the table and not exactly where she took off from so let's land her and try that one again So she's right in the middle of the table this time. And let's see if that makes a difference. Twenty-two meters out, here's the return to home. Up she goes to 15 metres, turning round, 
and heading back home. Let's see whereabouts on this table she will land, if she lands at all. Once again we have the area under the aircraft unsuitable for landing. So she won't land on a metal plate unless I manually land her. It does look a bit like the surface of water this, this metal plate. So one last place to try. Right, so the, for the final place today is going to be on these golden chips. Let's see if she'll return to home on this. Here we go. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, 30... <coughs> Okay, 30 metres away, 1.6 metres high. Here's return to home. Well, let's see what happens. There you have it, it landed on four out of the six areas that I tested today and the two that it didn't land on, one was the wood chips where it shouldn't have landed on anyway and the other one was the metal galvanised steel table which looked like the surface of water to me. So uh, it looks like the anomaly that happened on the previous video when it wouldn't land on the tarmac could have been because the tarmac was a bit darker, I think it had been raining earlier and it maybe looked like the surface of water, I'm not sure about that. But if it's landing in four out of six of the places that I tested today, and two of them that probably shouldn't have landed on anyway. I'm happy with that, and Lassie did the job. So, give us a thumbs up, and I'm out of here.